Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. I'm Zelda Master and in the previous episode we got the next sea chart that will let us advance throughout the great sea and discover new islands and get other things because we're gonna have to look for the pure metals that will help Zaz forge the Phantom Sword. So yeah, we're gonna have to head to the three tribes and all of that stuff. So let's go ahead and get started guys by showing line back the new sea chart that we just got for our uh, sea chart collection and stuff. So we're able to find the sea chart. Yes, we were perfect. All right, so this is the uh, southeastern part of uh, the sea that we'll be able to explore. And we're gonna wait, we're not gonna go yet. So since we now have discovered a new part of the sea, we can collect treasure maps for that area. So there are a couple treasure maps we'll be able to get right now. I'm going to ignore this guy. He's going to tell you about the Golden Frog Chief um, silos, but you know we already talked to him, so there's really no point. But anyways, I believe we might track to Friedel. He will give us a... Um, treasure map because he's been looking through his boxes and well somebody left this inside so we got ourselves a new treasure map he only gives this to you once you actually get the C chart of course because well he can't really give you a C chart uh, or a map that you don't have the location for like on your C chart so yeah but anyways uh, there's also something else I want to get that I completely forgot about um, I believe somebody mentioned it uh, in one of the comments so thank you for that but there is a there's a uh, gem that we can pick up. I believe it's a courage gem that we'll be able to get over here. The bridge all the way to Fredo's Island. While heading through it, you can find a switch. And if you hit this switch, a chest will appear. So, yeah. And inside this chest should be a courage gem, I believe. So, yeah, it is. Woohoo! Okay. We almost have enough, like, uh, wisdom gems and courage gems to, like, have ten. And then we'll be able to get the power up for that. So we'll be able to power up uh, the Spirit of Power and Wisdom. Or, we already powered up the Spirit of Power. That's the one with us right now with the Flaming Sword. But the Spirit of Wisdom and Courage. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, that's going to be pretty cool when the time comes. But, for now we have to get the gems and whatnot. So I believe that's pretty much all we need to do right now here on Murky Island. So it's time to sail out and continue on with our adventure. So let's see what we're going to do next, guys. Um, I believe the first thing I want to do is uh, head all the way to Melida Island because there's a couple things I can do there or should I hmm yeah, you know what I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna head there yet I'm actually gonna head all the way up to uh, the northwestern part of the sea for two things uh, first off I want to find one of the golden frogs that will allow me to teleport there um, there's one by the uncharted island where we got the freaking slate from so yeah, maybe we should get the area for that location. That way we can teleport to the northwestern part of the sea anytime we want. As well as um, that letter that we got from Joanne, or rather Jolene, she wants us to deliver it to Joanne. Or rather, the male guy wants us to deliver it to um, Joanne. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and deliver Jolene's letter to her sister Joanne. And Jolene is the pirate ship girl, that, you know, the small icon of her face. The one that's heading to the... Um, I believe western part of that sea chart but we're not heading there we're gonna be heading all the way to the island where uh, Joanne is at. and obviously Joanne is the mermaid that we uh, that we met so yeah and if we look at that the the man of the seas the the hero the king the prince of red lions and um, its hero are just sailing the great sea <laughs> that's pretty cool alright just die I want to kill all these enemies don't want to uh be slowed down and hopefully we'll catch some fish because you actually get yourself a piece of heart man there's a bunch of enemies just jumping left and right at us but anyways I believe around here right by uncharted island um, the golden the golden fish should start appearing a golden fish golden frog rather Wow okay so I'm gonna try to keep a keen eye just looking around seeing if I can find it and I'll be able to hear it once it like comes by. I'm not entirely sure. If, I, I think I need to like, sail out a little bit here. And we'll see if we'll find it. Um, they aren't generally that hard to find. I mean, normally you find them on accident just sailing the Great Sea. But I, I'm not really good at that. <laughs> I'm not really good at like finding things you know, by luck. I have to actually look for it. So, yeah. Um, that, it's not that really that cool. So let's just see if we can have him appear. And he's not... Well, that's great. He should be around here. I'm pretty... Okay, there we go. We found him. Woo! Alright. 
wait to actually hit him. Ah, we're close enough. I'm gonna wait for him to like the second he shoots out, just start spamming. Oh, wow, that was extremely close. Come on, hit him. There we go. We got him. Didn't take that long. So, anyways, yeah. You can tell us that we did a nice shot, and we'll be able to draw a new thing on our map. So pay attention. All right. So it's a like other backwards end, I guess you could say. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to erase this arrow and these two X's since we already spotted the islands. I'll keep all the other scribbles and whatnot, but I'm gonna just erase this stuff so I can actually have room to draw this end. I mean, it shouldn't be hard to forget, but, you know, I just want to keep it. So yeah, we're good. Alright, so right now we can head here anytime we want, but it's time to go and uh, deliver the letter that we wanted to do earlier. So let's go ahead and do that first, guys. Yeah, we got a couple things uh, to do before we actually head to the new part of the Great Sea because, you know, there's a bunch of things that have opened up for us right now that I'm going to be doing right now. So, yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and deliver the letter, like I said, several freaking times. <laughs> but, you know, just so I don't forget, I got to remind myself, basically. I'm not, I'm not reminding you guys in any sort of way. I'm just reminding myself. So, yeah. Oh, it's you. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks. Okay. Uh, I believe she tells you that right after she meets Wafer. But now if we talk to her again... She'll be like, hey, what do you got there? Oh, okay, now she knows. So, yeah, a letter from Jolene. Oh, it's a letter from Jolene, my big sister. Yeah, we already read it, so I I'm sorry. But, yeah, we came all this way to deliver it to you. So, I have to tear into and read it, blah, blah, blah. Okay, she's reading it. Um, What a fast reader. Okay, she already read it. Just took a couple dots. But, anyways, uh, she's still into dressing up as a pirate. I'm glad she's happy with her hobby. Wait, she's not a pirate? Are, are you being serious? But, anyways... I mean, maybe she just says that. Maybe she's actually a mermaid, uh, Joanne, and Jolene's actually a pirate, but they just think, you know, they, like, each other dress up as a uh, said thing. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Joanne is not a mermaid, guys, so. Yeah, but thanks for delivering this to me. Here you go. We got ourselves a <gasps> wisdom gem! Yeah! And this will be pretty cool um, for things later on. I actually wonder how many wisdom gems I have on me. Let's go ahead and check out. Oh, we got 10, everybody. Woo. Okay, so now we can head back to um, the Spirit Island and actually get the wisdom power up. So we're going to see what that is. So it's a good thing we came here first before I decided to head to Malaita Island because I want to head to Malaita Island also to get something. But near Malaita Island is the Spirit Island. So good thing I got this out of the way. <laughs> so that's going to be pretty cool to be able to do two quick things at... Um, the, the, what's it called, that part of the sea that holds Malaita Island and Spirit Island where we have to draw this. I don't think I drew it right. Oh, I did. Okay. Nice. We have to look at the sea chart, but the, uh, I believe, southwestern part of the Great Sea. Um, so yeah. Yep. Southwestern. That's what I'm talking about. And now let's go ahead and head over to Malaita Island first. So, basically the reason I'm heading to Malaita Island now is because you can get yourself another... Um, treasure chart or treasure map rather from Malaita Island after you uh, after you get the sea chart for the uh, southwestern part or the southeastern part this is the southwestern part I forget the part for the southwestern eastern man I'm getting confused with this but basically once you get the third sea chart you can get yourself a treasure map from here just like the one we got from Friedel so yeah that's what I'm getting at guys let's go ahead and talk to this little girl I believe so. The word has the ghost ship has been hasn't been seen for a while. I wonder. Yeah, hero deleted it. It was me, uh, but she doesn't know that. But she picked up this earlier, and she'll give us yes a treasure map for yeah the uh, the south eastern. There we go. Eastern part of the Great Sea. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I got it. All right, now time to ship out and head over to Spirit Island and uh, yeah. Get ourselves another upgrade. Now, this upgrade is going to be pretty interesting. I actually really like this one. I also might head over to this traveler ship and see if I can get myself some cool treasure. Because he gives you a lot of cool stuff every time you rescue him from people. I believe it's like once every day. I'm not entirely sure. But I do know Beetle gets new stuff every single day. I think that's the coolest part. Like, actually, like, utilizing the, um, the time for your system, like the 3DS and DS. I, th I thought it was really interesting how that worked. So, yeah, um, if you buy stuff from Beetle, he, like, changes his treasure every single day, which I find awesome. And I think this guy is, like, the same ordeal, that he gets new enemies on his ship every single day, so you have to kill him. Or maybe it's just, it just respawns automatically. I'm 
Not entirely sure, but it's whatever. I just want to kill these guys. Let's go ahead and kill the Zora Warrior first because it shoots fire, which is weird because, you know, the Zora is like a water type species, but whatever. Um, let's go ahead and hit this boomerang. Surprised that you can break these barrels with your boomerang, but not with your sword. It's like, really? It's whatever. Because he has swords too. Why is he such a coward? And a pitchfork just like his brother. Okay. As you can tell, he looks a lot like the other guy that we got the heart container from because yeah they are brothers so uh that's pretty cool but anyways oh golly you must have overslept really you sleep when you get ambushed by enemies sure but anyways we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a ooh a gorn ember which is actually worth a lot of rupees that's pretty cool one more <gasps> rudo crown not that good because we can't sell it for that good money oh yeah it's a helm rock bloom that's actually really good all right you don't have any more but thank you and imagine if that he had more I'll imagine, because I'm going to sell these for some pretty good prices. <laughs> so thank you very much. I might do that right after I head over to Spirit Island, because I could use the cash. Because I plan on buying a couple stuff in the near future. So yeah, because obviously cash is really important in this game, if you couldn't tell. So yeah. <laughs> and that's why you can sell treasure and stuff. I think the, you know, the treasure fortune teller guy, or just treasure teller guy, is like super cool. I really like how they added him in the game and that you can sell stuff to him. It's just like super interesting. But anywho, let's go ahead and talk to this pond. The spring rather, not pond. It's filled with mysterious light. I have wisdom to bring to you. So, let's see what happens. Here you go. So yeah, so far we have found 10 wisdom gems. With that many will be able to awaken a power of the spirit of wisdom. Let's see what this is, guys. <gasps> I believe it's going to get even more blue. It's like really like dark. Oh, it's kind of like light blue. No, I think it's going to say the same color. Yeah, it just seems a little bit brighter here in this cutscene, but it's the same thing. Um, but yeah, there we go. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Uh, basically, what the Spirit of Wisdom powered up is going to give you is more defense. So you can tell our sword isn't going blue or anything like that. Um, our HP bar, if you look at all of the hearts we have, they have like this blue border around it. Um, that's because we are more durable. Let's go ahead and get hit. Oh wow, look, our shield even stuns enemies. I think that's, like, the coolest part about it, but I'm gonna try to get hit. If it will hit me. Once it's done being stunned, I believe we're gonna take less damage as well. But let's see. Hit me! Yeah, okay, so we only took a quarter of a heart, so that's pretty strong as well. So it's a really good, uh, you know, power-up, but I prefer the spirit of power like I said before because your sword is on fire and I'm more of the damage type person even like in RPGs and stuff I'd rather like rank up my damage dealer rather than like my tank or my mage or something like that um, but that's just me I just like you know dealing tons of damage so yeah let's go ahead and first make our way back to Murky Island and then we'll start sailing like east from Murky Island to make it to the next part of the Great Sea but like I said, I want to sell the treasure I just picked up from that awesome traveler and uh, see how much good money we can get, or rather rupees, because rupees are the currency of this game, of course. I really want to encounter the masked beetle. As you can tell, this beetle isn't the masked one, the one that's over here. But let me go ahead and erase that, so... Because his icon's going to move off of that circle, of course, because he's moving. But yeah, um, you'll notice which one's the masked beetle by the icon. He'll actually have a mask on him, so... If I do find him, I would like to have a word with him because he actually holds some pretty interesting stuff. So, yeah. But, okay, so, let's go ahead and make our way to the fortune. Um, why do I keep saying fortune? He's not a fortune teller, the treasure teller. There we go, that's it. But I was hoping he'd have a crystal ball still. <laughs> Just, like, figure out the prices of all the cool treasures. So... I got something cool for you. How much are you going to buy this for? Uh, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's still 800. It doesn't change, but it does change for every file. Like, maybe your Helmarok Plume isn't worth 800 like mine. It might be like, you know, 50, but it's different items worth more. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So, yeah, let's go ahead and see if we have any valuable thing on us. Uh... I believe I got a really cool ship part that I wanted to put on my ship as well. So let's go ahead and do that, actually. I don't want to sell any ship parts because most of them he only buys for 50, which is understandable because there's so many ship parts. 
And the good ones he's gonna buy for actually decent money, but why would you want to sell the good ship parts, you know? So, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and customize our ship. Uh, I believe... Did we get, like, a different bridge? No, okay, we didn't. Then what did we get? I know we got something really interesting. Uh, or maybe I'm just hallucinating. A horn chimney, no, that's not what I want. Ooh, let's see how the stone one looks. Oh, I've seen this already. I believe I was customizing this earlier. Let's see if we got a new type of wheel. Nope. Well, that just sucks. New type of cannon, please? No? Aw, oh, that sucks. Okay, so we have literally nothing special. Soon we'll get some really cool stuff once we actually start salvaging all of the treasure maps. Um, or rather, heading to the location of the treasure maps and salvaging the goodies that are in there. But, like I said... I want to wait for another time, so I'm going to have to deal with the crappy ship parts we currently have, but soon we'll have some pretty interesting stuff. So let's go ahead and get started by heading to the southwestern part of the Great Sea, and um, yeah, explore a new area pretty much. We're going to find uh, two tribes in this section of the sea, as well as a bunch of different islands, and yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, I'd say this is like the most fascinating part of the Great Sea because it has one of the coolest things and like the, the coolest tribes as well. So yeah, um, so to get things started, the first thing I want to do is actually head over here. You'll find like, yeah, this, uh, these rocks, these boulders are making like some sort of triangle. I'm going to go ahead and check that out because we've been advised that, uh, there was an island hiding on a triangle before. I'm actually going to stop here and let this ship ambush me before it kills me. Please ambush me. Please ambush. Stop hitting me. Just ambush me and get it over with. You can't you can't kill this ship, by the way. Really? Okay, guys. So, I'm back. Um, yes, my ship exploded and I died. But the reason why I want this to happen is because I want these freaking ship to ambush me please do it already stop hitting me with your stupid cannons I you can actually hit the cannons but they're so hard to actually hit there we go finally when I'm at one heart they ambush me and the reason why I want them to ambush me is because I'm gonna get myself something and wow I just realized when you get a game over all of your hearts uh, go down which sucks because yeah I didn't die from having like no hearts um, I died because my ship exploded, but whatever, you know, that's just a game for you. But the reason, yeah, why I want the ship to ambush me and not try to fight him or anything like that is because once you do that, Lineback is going to give you a Courage Gem, and you really want this Courage Gem, so you kind of have to, you know, be forced with what the game gives you, but I think it's a little ridiculous how I'm supposed to almost die just to do that. So now what I'm going to try to do is make it over here without getting hit anymore. And you got two other battleships going to try to attack me. Oh, jeez! Don't stop! Don't stop! No, 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 no! <sighs> okay, so this game is sometimes buggy and, and some things you just can't avoid, especially when sailing, which I absolutely hate. But hopefully we'll make it through this area fast enough. And you can I believe you can actually destroy the ship before it ambushes you, but I didn't want to do it first. Because I want to actually get the um, the Courage Gem, of course. So, that's why I let myself die twice to it. But anyways, with that done, I think we're safe. This guy's not catching up, is he? Or is he? Gosh, dang it, he is. Alright, go and just spam cannonballs at him. And not get hit by this enemy. Ah, there we go. Alright, we're good. We got ourselves a heart back. So, uh, yeah, I died twice because of that. But it was worth it because I got the Courage Gem. And, uh, if we look over here, <gasps> there's an island. Yes, we spotted a new island that wasn't mapped on our SC chart, so it's time to investigate this new island. And this island holds some pretty cool stuff, but you can really screw up things on this island as well. And you're going to see what this island is. The first time I played this, it was pretty darn funny what happened, and I'll show you what could happen. But I'm most likely not going to do it, because I don't want to screw myself over. Or you know what, I'm, I'm going to do it. I might just save before I do it. So, how, how this minigame works, this is uh, the Hero Island. And what you do is, you know, you're going to need a shovel for this island. You're just going to play a minigame and dig around for treasure. So, yeah, Lineback obviously being the greedy type of guy he is, he can smell money. Um, so, 
Yeah, but if you go ahead and type this Gossip Stone, it will offer you to play again. Now, it's just a Gossip Stone. It's no actual person. So, it's going to tell you you pay 50 rupees to dig 10 times and you might get yourself treasure. Um, but since it's just a Gossip Stone, it can't kick you out of here. Uh, like, it can't really do much. It's going to trust you to dig the 10 holes and leave. So that's how you do it. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this breeze and enter. Let's get started. Now you can get yourself two treasure charts from this area, rather treasure maps. And how this works is when you f actually find something, uh, text box up on the screen saying your shovel hit something, and then Link picks it up. You don't actually see it. And we picked up a rupor, and, and you lose rupees. I believe we've seen one of these before. It's a really dumb item. I hate it because you can pick up a lot of these. But we got ourselves 20 rupees, which is pretty nice. But no matter what, we already we already wasted like 80 rupees on this mini game because you know we got a rupor and we paid 50 rupees. So hopefully we can get ourselves the money back. Um, all right, five rupees. I don't really want that. I'm really in here for the treasure charts, but let's see. So we have to dig how many we dug. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So far five. Let's see if we can find ourselves the treasure chart. That'd be pretty awesome. Six, seven. <sighs> Yeah! Rupees, okay. Let's see what this is. Ah, uh, not another Rupor. Jeez, I hate it, because, like, usually I get really unlucky and just sit and pick up many of these. Yes, I did! Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna dig one more. Hopefully we get something I really want. Uh, whatever. So, yeah, that sucked. But, anyways, that's all we can do. Now, if we exceed the amount, I believe we already did over than 10, he's gonna warn you once you, like, reach the 15 mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and do over 10 and see if we can find ourselves something. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Yay, blue rupee. All right, I'm gonna keep digging because you know, he's still in it, warn me. Once he warns you, you wanna leave. Um, so let's see. Strange voice, wait, rises from the deep hole. I'm a lucky lead, the lucky lead that dwells in this. I'll bring you luck, pay me 50 rupees and you win big, big, big. <laughs> let's do it. All right, let's get started. Uh, there was a large tr treasure chest and a small treasure chest. Which one do you choose? The small one, of course. You're the big winner. You get 200 rupees. Yay! So, that's pretty cool. We also found that. <laughs> and we got ourselves 200 rupees, which was pretty nice. But I think I'm done for now. Let's see what he has to say. Let's see if he's upset. So, oh, you haven't dug up 10 treasures yet. Oh, we get to dig up 10 treasures. Not 10 holes. You know, I never knew that, surprisingly. I thought every single treasure, um, every single thing, I think he's going to warn you, though, once you hit it, so let's see. Alright, that's 10. There we go. Um, so it's a good thing I actually hit that, because I wasn't aware of that, honestly. All I know is something pretty bad happened, and, and I kept digging, and I got banned from this minigame, and the only way I could play this minigame again is to pay, I believe, like, 500 rupees or 200 rupees or something like that something obscure not like you know 50 rupees um to play this game again so yeah and it sucked and it stays like that for good so you don't want that to happen but yeah there we go so the only way to like have this reset is to actually leave the island and then instantly come back and you know the holes will patch up and you'll be able to play the mini game again so you keep wanting keep wanting to do this until you get the treasure charts, and that's what I'm going to do. There are two treasure charts we can pick up from this mini game here on the Hero Island. So, yeah, let's see if we can do. I don't think I'm going to. Though I don't think I'm going to show what happens if you do exceed the ten uh, treasure limit because, yeah, um, it really sucks. And I mean, granted, I could save and like pretend that never happened but I, I don't really want to risk it at all in general so let's just go ahead and uh try to find more treasure uh hopefully we get ourselves a treasure map i might just skip yeah i'm just gonna cut until i find the treasure maps um hopefully i don't find more rupors and stuff but yeah let's get started yay we got one treasure map all right awesome guys now we need one more and look at how many rupees i got all right so we exceeded um the amount, or I think we have one more. I think we're on our ninth. Uh, let's see what this is. Alright. Now we're done playing. But, yeah. Um, so, I got myself so many rupees from this. If I go ahead and open up menu. Yeah, I have 2,000 now. Over 2,000. Because I kept getting uh, the 
100 rupee, the big green rupee, so that's pretty cool. All right, so one more treasure map to find. Uh, I guess I'm going to keep looking for it, and yeah. Yay, okay, so finally we got ourselves another treasure chart. Now, what I'm going to do, because I think I made it to the end of the episode, because I'm going to end off the episode here, I'm going to save on screen. I don't normally do this, and this might be risky, because if something happened in this file, I have to play through the whole game and make it to this point again. So, I'm betting on nothing to happen here. Um, so, I'm going to save. And now, we're going to exceed our limit. Just, you know, for an extra ending to this episode, we're going to go ahead and exceed our limit and see what happens. So, yeah, let's go ahead and keep finding treasure. It doesn't matter how much rupees I get. It doesn't matter whatever happens. I'm done. So, let's see. Okay, another lucky Lee. I'm going to go ahead and just keep picking small because I don't want... Oops, I didn't, I didn't mean to not play the game. Ah, whatever. All right, so we're going to keep doing this. So, we got ourselves a blue rupee. Um, Yeah, I'll just keep digging until I find more treasure. I was like on my second treasure and I got myself that treasure map, so yeah, that was pretty cool. But in general, this minigame is awesome because you can grind a crap ton of rupees. I mean, granted, there are times you could get extremely unlucky, but most of the times, as you can tell, I'm getting pretty darn lucky. So actually, I might save again before I make it to the end um, because I'm getting more rupees than I expected. So let's see. Uh, okay, never mind. Forget that. All right, so one more and I think we exceeded. So let's see what this is. Alright, green rupees. So, okay, thanks for playing. You've dug up 10 treasures, and thus ends your session. Okay, so please return to the entrance. Heh, <laughs> no. I'm gonna keep digging, so let's see what you got. Okay, 10, consider yourself warned. Don't think about digging again. No, I'm gonna keep digging. I don't care. I warned you so, uh, I warned you so much not to dig, but you still do it. So, as a penalty, I will take 100 rupees from you. Now, don't do it again. I don't, I wanna keep doing it. Oh no, you dug up one more time. As a penalty, I will collect all your rupees. Um, I will collect all the rupees you got. See? So he takes every single one. Pretty dick move, but you kind of deserve it because he tells you to leave. I'm serious, don't dig one more time. I'm warning you, the co uh, there will be consequences. You already took up all my rupees, so what other consequence can there be, dude? How many warnings is it going to take? I'll tell you no more warnings. Uh, because you're now banned from playing here. Please don't come here ever again. And will you look at that? Yeah, the game is pretty upset. Like, I'm surprised they put this, you know. But now uh, we can never come back. But if you go ahead and hit him, he will. He he'll be nice enough to, uh, you know, let us back. He's like, oh, it's you. You're banned from playing here. Don't you remember? But if you're honestly sorry, um, are you truthfully sorry? Okay, let's just say truthfully uh, that we are truly sorry, of course. So we have to pay 300 rupees to play this game again, and the ban will be lifted. No, because, you know, let's not. I want to see if I'm going to say I'm not truly sorry. Let's see what he says. So, oh, it's you. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, not really. Oh, please, God. <laughs> He's so upset. I feel bad for him, but then again, he took all my rupees. So it's a good thing I didn't save, because I'm just going to jump off until I die. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda, Phantom Glass, and the next episode, we're going to continue on our adventures. So, yeah, splash.